Hi, it's Todd Gross, and I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been practicing this week with no green screen and with my actual green screen and some of the reports we've been getting from you as well. We'll do that in just a moment. I also want to show you some of the ways to make your green screen or no green screen, whichever backdrop you're looking or using, look even better. For instance, well, before I get to it, I just want to point one thing out. You may have already wondered how I could take a video like this off of YouTube. Some of you know that this is on YouTube right now, this video. How I could possibly take this video off of YouTube and make it look like it's on my site solely. Because you'll notice if you look down here, you will not see the YouTube logo. It's covered up with my affiliate link to a product. And I'll be talking more about that later in this video. So if you're really curious how to use YouTube videos on your own site with your own affiliate links to products all over the place, I'll tell you about that later. Let's get to the training first. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, if you look at this right here, you'll see I just inserted video from my actual backyard. Now I took this today and I wanted to give you some tips and tricks. You may already have my tips and tricks video series. You may have my green screen video series, and certainly you have James Renoff's uh, video series, or you should by now, the no green screen method. But one of the things that isn't mentioned is it's really better to use video rather than a still picture behind you because it looks more natural. Now, let me show you how I'm layering up this video right now. You've seen I've put the video behind me, you could see the ripples in the pool, okay? You could see the wind blowing in the trees. Now I'm going to put in the audio track that I actually took. Well, I'll use the actual audio track from this. I, I actually did take some separate audio track of birds chirping and a babbling brook. I took that separately, but let me put the audio track in that I actually took at the time of this video. And as you could hear, there's background noise and there is um, a pool filter in the background and you can also hear the wind kicking up from time to time playing with the microphone. Bad and good at the same time. If I turn it down, it's really good. If I turn it way up, it could be distracting. But the point is, it makes it look like I'm really outside right now. Okay, now let's change topics, and I'm going to show you a video that I actually made for my regular email list, not the special group that you are that already purchased the no green screen factor, but my regular email list, and it shows three of the ways that we're demonstrating how the no green screen factor tricks are actually being utilized. So take a look at that, and then come back. I want to discuss how I possibly got this YouTube video to look the way it does right here with a player and an affiliate link and all that. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at right here is Max. He's one of you that actually took the product and started using it. He's using that uh, backdrop where it's just black in the background and he has lit in the foreground. Uh, it's funny because somebody made fun of this in the thread on the Warrior Forum, but this works really well, as you can see. I mean, he's lit evenly and he actually just replaced his back background. Oh, black background. Sorry about that. Now, the next thing I want to show you, of course, is method number four, I believe it is, where I actually have green grass behind me right here. Notice I used video behind me, and that made it look even more compelling than this, which is Bryce Canyon. And I've gotten rid of the grass behind me, put the still shot of Bryce Canyon. Not only does it look weird because I'm on a, a chair, but it looks weird because it was a still shot. Now, this is a super easy indoor background that I used. It was just a wall. Now, I only had white walls. I didn't have colored walls, so it was a little difficult. In fact, you'll see near my neck, there's a little bit of a bleed over from the white, so I put myself on a snowy background to mask that. But again, this is a very effective. So that's three of the four methods that James mentions in his, his no green screen factor product. All right, now let's change topics again and talk about this crazy YouTube player. What's so special about it? Well, not only does it have its own little player bar on the bottom, which can change many different forms, but in addition, you can take your affiliate link or the player and cover up the YouTube logo, which normally goes down there in the bottom right, so that people can't click off your site, okay? And they go to your product, not to someone else's product. Remember, when you upload a video on YouTube, often 
people try to sell products and it goes to their affiliate link. But you can change that to your affiliate link with this little logo that I put on. And in addition, this also will not forward to YouTube at the end, won't show other people's videos from YouTube at the end. I mean, this is a fantastic thing that Matthew McDonald has put together called Custom Video Player. You just upload it to your site, you just take the folder, upload it to your site, and you're done. It's easier, believe it or not, than similar WordPress plugins that I've seen that do things similar but not quite as good as the custom video player. I will talk more about this. I will actually show you how to take a sniper review video off of YouTube and change it around to include your affiliate link for that product. It's amazing. I'll show that to you in a subsequent video. If you want to check this out, though, just click the link below this video right now, and you'll be able to actually check this whole thing out. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my green screen update. It's Todd Gross signing off.